Doc here. I got your comment about you want to see caddy view of my swing. I've got a 7 iron here, 170. It's going to swing nice and easy. Um, figured what you want to see is you know, get get it, see how stable I'm keeping my right leg coming down and how well I'm getting my arms to swing you know, as fast as I can. So again, we're trying to get this stabilized, get the squat moving, we're trying to get the butt end of the club down into the uh, sagittal plane area, so uh, we'll see, see what it looks like. So yeah, what I'm feeling right now is when I get back here on that second one, I hit really nice, solid. What I felt like is when I got back to here, I was able to you know keep get this oblique right here. Feel like it's really you know separating here, and then I feel you know kind of my whole you know whole center of my body around my belly button area in here, you know. Uh, start to expand off that that right oblique in here. So you know, if I can keep you know keep this right hip stable, continue to get this oblique to, to twist you know, off of that, and then I keep it back there for that split second. Then my arms start to separate from my body, and that's been the thing we've been working on for months, trying to get. My hands working, you know, faster. Pell Beach, that was a real good one. So, you know, I felt, I felt myself get back here, get, 
right hip stabilized. So like this right oblique continue to turn. Go in here, turn, get some some pressure into that leg. I feel like I can bend my leg, keep the pressure in here, and then it feels like my whole you know the whole thing gets up in the gets across here, into here. And then my hands hopefully are broken free enough and they're moving fast enough that when I hit the ball, this leg and back hip here are stable enough to accept a, a big load. So that's kind of concept that I'm uh, thinking of and that's what it's feeling like right now. Pretty good, not quite as good as the last one before that, but uh, so let's see what it looks like. Let's see if I'm made any progress towards stabilizing this right side and getting my arms to swing free, separated. Just a nice, beautiful swing. That's what I'm going for. Still working on you know getting getting the wrist cocked in a little sooner back in here on the back swing instead of you know trying to get real big extension and getting getting my wrist to uh hinge later so it's more like you know this kind of a move just kind of like let, let the wrist gently hinge on the back swing as opposed to trying to extend it this way and once i get here stabilize this right hip by getting this oblique to fire, get separation between my hip and the bottom of my rib cage. And then when I do that, it feels like my arms are able to separate. So I'm able to keep this right side stable. That's what it feels like to stabilize this. Get, eventually I gotta fire off this and get in the left side. Don't like you've been trying to get me to do. Try to get to that left side as late as you can. And uh, you know, let the left side just respond to the swing of the arms. And uh, definitely appreciate your comments about, you know, my swing getting improved. Uh, and I think you're right. I I'm definitely think all the effort you put in to help me and guide me is paying off. I'm continuing to work hard in the gym and uh, that's where it's at right now. I gotta keep working, keep improving my body, get it as in good a shape as possible. And uh, I think I'll keep progressing. Thanks, see you, bye. All right, Pelby, same thing. Uh, this is a driver, same move, seeing up on the caddy view how this thing's looking, how well I'm getting this blood in the club into the center of my body. I do the same move of keeping my, my wrist to hinge a little early, try to stabilize my right hip and leg with, you know, with my obliques and my rib cage, trying to get everything stabilized so my arms can go really fast hopefully
right. That was kind of interesting. It felt like my whole right foot just slid out from under me. Uh, but I hit it really good, so maybe I need some new golf shoes. That third one was real good. I felt like I really got in here and felt, you know, stabilizing off this right side, right oblique, and felt like I really got into my left side. Felt like my arms separated a little bit. Um, okay, I'm gonna start cranking it up a little bit. More energy, try to really swing my arms, try to get them feeling like they're just just flowing like butter. Let's see what happens. That one didn't feel good at all. That felt like I just got up here and just slid left and the ball went out to the right. So that was definitely a, a crappy shot that you like to see every once in a while. Take a look at what happens. But I was trying to get a little bit more energy and I guess I got a little quicker or something happened and my body just didn't hold up in it. That was a good shot. Didn't quite flush it, but it was dead straight. Good trajectory. Felt pretty good. So that seems to be what's happening right now as I continue to work on this stabilizing my right side to try to get the squat move. You know, just not, you know, the, the center hit that I'm getting. I'm not quite getting it yet all the time, but uh, felt pretty good.
All right, Pebble Beach, take a look. Let me know what you think. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it.